According to Oxford Dictionary, freedom is the power or right to ask, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. The state of not being imprisoned or enslaved. Now, my topic is, or my title is, Freedom is a Choice I See. Now, you see in the word choice, I have the letters I and C capitalized. Because when I came up with this title, it read to me, freedom is a choice I see. As in, freedom is something that I can make happen. I don't have to ask someone to free me. I don't have to go about this whole long process to be free. I can be free presently which as you see, my, the word is, is capitalized to say like present as in now, as in forward going. And so as I think about freedom and what that means to me, I remember as a child, I was always like afraid of things. So for example, I'll be walking down the street and I'll think, oh, a bird's gonna fall on me. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get hit by a car. Or I would be like in my dorm room, like trying to go to sleep and I would think like, the stories of the building are gonna fall on me. And it would just be like irrational. Like I would be like, like afraid to like go to sleep. And I never really understood why I was doing this. It just didn't make sense. And so one day about a year ago, I just decided, you know what, this is too much energy. I don't have time. I'm just over it. And so I just made a, a decision, a conscious decision to not be afraid anymore. And so, I granted myself permission, Maya, you don't have to be afraid. And then from that, that day on, I was no longer afraid. And although that took a long process, like I'm 21 now, that took a good 20 years. It happened, <laughs> it happened and I wouldn't look back. So do me a favor, close your eyes. I want you to imagine you're in a room. It is dark, it's cold, you, you can't connect with anyone, there's no phone, there, your mom isn't there, your favorite snack isn't there, your pet isn't there, you're just by yourself. Now I want you to realize that in this pitch darkness that you're sitting in, there is a flashlight on the right. There's a flashlight sitting on the ground. Now I ask, are you gonna pick up the light? Would you turn it on? Would you set yourself free of the fear that's surrounding you. And if you do open, if you do um, pick up that flashlight and turn it on, what does that do? What does that bring forth? What will that illuminate once you turn that light on? You can open your eyes now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to like, be dark in the dark. Okay. So yes, basically to me that room just represented how fear just was illogical. It just didn't make sense and how it needed to be eliminated. Whether in the voice, as I am an opera singer, you have to let go of your voice, or as my voice teacher says, you have to holla. You have to just let it out. And ever since that kind of psychological, like freeing of my mind and freeing of my mind, excuse me, my heart, I began to feel that same experience in my voice. I began to be able to hit and extend notes that I had never hit before. And it's because of my mind. When I got past what my, my brain was doing, I was able to hit that next level. And so in closing, just like the ocean washes up on the sand and takes the sand back into the ocean, that to me, as a woman of God, that means how God just erases my sins. Like every time I think about something that I've made a mistake on, it's like God just whoo, takes it and it goes back into the abyss. And I, it's a new more. I can never, you know, get it back. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And that's what, when I think of that, it makes me think, oh, the, nature is just beautiful and just majestic, just like God is to me. And so I would like to bring up my accompanist, Jonathan, and I'd like to sing a song um, before I close with my minute and 47 seconds, um, <laughs> a song entitled um, Deep River, um, arranged by Moses Hogan. And this song to me just represents the fact of deep river, Lord, like there's just plenty of space for me to go into and for me to learn and to grow and to extend and to experience that freedom. And so I hope that you enjoy. Thank you. Deep 
Thank you so much.